<laughs> ay, ay, ay. Can you see? Negative again, one blue line, so. Not today, COVID. Is it raining? It's raining. I mean, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I love the rain. I think it's good luck. Oh, here it is, Sunset Ranch. So, entrance ahead, I guess that way. <laughs> so this is where the ceremony would be, right over here. Okay. Okay, so this is where the tent and reception would be. The tent would be here, so it'd be covered. Um, and then it overlooks that, and then the water, ocean, which you can't see at the moment, but ceremony over there, reception over here, room suite over here with bathrooms. Um, yeah, yeah, um, just running your normal, and I don't know, you don't have maybe a wedding party, but do you have like the normal program elements, like the various dances or speeches or? No, we don't really party. <laughs> do you want to do the first, do you want to cool. do first dance or can I cut that? You can cut that out. Okay, that's what I was like, you want to do a first dance? Got it. <laughs> We just got our cake testing, cake tasting. I keep on calling it testing. So this is from A Cake Life and I'm basically just tasting, um, taste testing some of their more popular flavors. Um, I do have to run to the mall, but I guess maybe I'll just quickly do this. Okay, you know what? I've decided I'm gonna actually run my errands first and then eat this at Popo's house um, to be in a proper setting. I feel like I shouldn't do cake testing in a car. I don't know, that seems inappropriate for some reason. So save this, eat it at Popo's. So we're gonna try the yellow butter at Witch Strawberry. The frosting on that one is really good. Next is yellow butter with Lily Koi. Next is devil's food with cookies. That was a good one too. Next is marble with chocolate raspberry. You can see the marble. Next is guava with guava, the beautiful guava color. And the last one is red velvet with cream cheese where you can never go wrong. So, okay, yeah, so yellow butter with strawberry, marble with chocolate raspberry, and guava with guava. Those are my um, votes, but I'll have Brian be the last say because this is more his thing. So today is a pretty busy day. I have some work to do, but right now I'm waiting um, to do a makeup and hair test. She is actually a member of this community. Y'all know I, I love to support you when I can. So um, I'm pretty sure she might've DM'd me or um, tagged me in a comment or something. And um, I decided to reach out with reach out to her and um, do this test to see if we vibe together and whatnot. So I actually sent her the picture of my wedding dress and this is a picture, um, kind of like an inspo pic that she thought of immediately and it is something I vibe with, hold on. It is this. You know, you guys know I love a red lip. Um, probably a little bit just more dewy and glowy in the face, but I love the center part. I love the waves. Um, I love the texture and little poofiness in the hair in the back. So we're gonna do this look today. 
the skin is beautiful and glowy we um did a winged liner because we didn't originally do a linked winged liner but we felt like it opened up the eye a little bit and then we had to kind of play around with a red different colors of a red lip but i think we got it down to more of an orangey color versus like a red blue color so we're gonna actually see how this holds up for the rest of the day and then i can send her notes um and then for the hair we did a center part with some volume here and it's tied down below and then we have some kind of like retro curls i guess but here is the look and i like that we pulled these back because where the venue is um it could get windy but i feel like my pictures won't be like this because the hair framing the face is pulled back so this is what we are looking like now it's hard to see because everything's so dark in here this is why you do tests i had two fries and the lipstick is already smudged on my face so i'm gonna wipe it off before uh, my taste testing yeah i think we're gonna have to do the the nude lip something a little bit more forgiving but yeah that's why we do tests so we can see how things hold up but But here is the leftover um, fried chicken sandwich from my tasting with memoirs. We got a um, Hawaiian roll with fried chicken, um, some aioli, and cucumber. And it was really good, so. So today is the first day that I have no wedding stuff to do. It is Christmas Eve, so <laughs> that makes sense. But for the next three days, I have no wedding stuff. So to recap, we went to the venue. Um, what else? Did hair and makeup testing. Cater one testing. And then I met with... Um, Marie Florals yesterday to talk about um, possibly working together and her vibe was just amazing. I loved her. Um, and that's it. Brian comes in tomorrow and then while he's here we have another floral meeting then another catering test on Tuesday. Um, it's really funny everyone's asking me how wedding planning is going and universally I actually don't know anyone any woman who has gotten married and said that she enjoyed the process all of my friends who have gotten married or are in the process or like my cousins they have all been incredibly grateful when <laughs> when it's over <laughs> and i'm glad i am not the only one that feels this way but uh, if anything at least it gives me time to come back home for christmas which i haven't done in 10 years so for that i'm grateful um but yeah that is it so far um 
I feel like it feels good to kind of start solidifying some things. I guess the main thing that myself and my wedding planner have to go through is um, the rentals, which are going to be crazy. <laughs> Um, but I also did um, sign um, kind of like a mobile bar. It's called Pop Soda. Pop Soda like mobile bar or whatever. And they're very, very cute. So things are definitely starting to line up. Um, but yeah, today is Christmas Eve. My family has a dinner. My cousin's making dinner for us. Um, until then, I'm going to head to the beach, try to get a little bit more tan before I head back to LA in a couple, a couple days. But yeah. Uh, Brian will be here tomorrow and we're doing more wedding stuff while he's here plus a little bit more fun. <laughs> 